Hello everyone! Today I wanted to share my thoughts and give a little review on the Express It Blending card, which is a paper that I have recently tried designed specifically for alcohol-based markers. I created two different pieces kind of as a test and practices for this paper, as well as doing some general tests like creating gradients and things like that to work on blends. And I wanted to share my thoughts with you after finishing two pieces. So let's get into it. The first thing I noticed when I opened it and took out a piece is that this paper is incredibly smooth. It has absolutely no tooth or texture to it whatsoever. It's almost like a glossy finish, but not high gloss, very satin finish to it. And it is also incredibly soft to touch. Like it feels really nice to touch as a paper. So very smooth, very soft, which is different than what I'm used to. And I'm really curious how the markers were going to react with it. For my first little test, I did a simple gradient. I moved from yellows all the way up to deep dark purple, basically moving through a straight gradient. And this allowed me both to see how the markers react on the paper, but also how they blend together and how smoothly you can get those blends, at least in a very small surface area. I noticed right away that this has similarity to render paper, which is another marker specific type paper. And that when you lay the color down, there is a little bit of dry time, not dry time as in, if you touch it, it will smear. But when you first lay it down, the color goes down a bit darker and a bit more um, desaturated than it's actually going to dry because the ink is absorbed into the paper, but then it needs to fully dry and set in the paper. So keep that in mind when you're using this, that the initial color you lay down might not completely accurately reflect how it's gonna look like when it dries. It will likely get slightly more vibrant as it dries down. The colors laid down super smoothly and I was able to get really, really good blends as I moved through the gradient, which was nice. I actually think this overall gives you a nicer blend than the other paper I typically use, which as I mentioned is Strathmore Mixed Media Paper. Obviously the Strathmore paper is not designed for markers. It's a mixed media paper. It absorbs a lot of ink, which does mean it tends to dry out your markers faster. In theory, this paper, which is specifically designed for these kinds of markers, won't have that problem. And I'm really impressed with how smoothly the color lays down, how smoothly the marker texture lays down and blends in, and how well they blend together. In addition to the gradient test, I also wanted to lay down some individual strokes to see how the markers feather on the paper, as in when you first lay it down and do really thin strokes, does the ink kind of bleed out from where the marker tip touches? And I was pleasantly surprised to find that there is virtually no feathering on this whatsoever, which means you can get really, really fine lines with the Copic brush tips. The brush tip is designed so you can you know, get varying line weights based on pressure. And I really utilized this when I was working through the hair and the beard in this um, Expanse fan art piece that I did. Shout out to my Expanse fans, this show's amazing. <laughs> but I was able to really, really utilize small strokes with the Copic markers because there's just absolutely no feathering when you lay it down. You can get tiny precise strokes like you're using a brush pen and that's fantastic and very different from the paper I typically use. The Strathmore Mixed Media, you have a lot of feathering because it's designed to absorb ink. So it's really nice to be able to use these in a more precise manner. On the opposite end of that, let's start talking about what happens when you start filling in large areas that need to be blended together, because that's really the only place I have run into some trouble with this paper. So I had a space background on this Expanse piece, which involved blending a lot of different colors together to give kind of a nice blue, purple, black gradient that I added some stars into. And for this particular piece, I ran into no issues with that. The colors blended beautifully Everything was seamless. The paper texture after was so good. You hardly saw marker strokes at all. It was just a beautifully smoothly blended section of color. Worked phenomenally better than the Strathmore Mixed Media paper does for large areas of blending. And I was really, really excited. However, when I started working on my second piece, which is a celestial demon character, I ran into the problem that when doing large areas, things continually got streaky meaning 
the markers basically ceased to blend. It was like the paper stopped absorbing the ink. And so instead of getting all your ink absorbed into the paper that blends together for a nice smooth texture, they kind of just streaked on top of each other and built up and did not blend together at all. And it became incredibly frustrating. I ran into this on the cheek of the face especially, and that area where the highlight on the jawline switches over to the darker section, that one was really bad. The inks even dry differently when this happens, so they dry with a very high shine and a very obvious streak to it, which you can see when you shine a direct light on it, like under this lamp, and it just, it doesn't blend in at all and does not look very good. And I honestly don't know why it's happening. I definitely did not layer more ink in this section than I did when working on the Expanse piece. And I truly don't have an explanation of why this seems to happen on the paper sometimes. It's honestly my only complaint about the paper is that it seems to be relatively inconsistent where certain times it seems like you can layer inks forever and just continually blend and it'll absorb it. Occasionally, it seems to do the exact opposite of that, where after just a few layers of ink, I'm talking like maybe two or three colors trying to blend together, they just stack and stack on each other and you get a smeary mess as opposed to a beautifully blended section. I'm still learning with the paper, of course, I've only used it twice, so I'm trying to now figure out if it's maybe my marker tips that are worn out and it's not releasing the ink the way it's supposed to on the paper, so I'm still troubleshooting that, but the smeary kind of ink factor has become my only major issue with this paper because it seems to happen incredibly inconsistently. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this paper has a very satin finish, so even when everything goes smoothly and there's no streaking issues, when you tilt it in the light you do still see a bit of a shine on the top, which is fine, but is different than the Strathmore paper, so I wanted to note that. But the fully blended finished and texture is beautiful. I do feel like the markers absorb really well into the paper. And like I said, I'm still learning about what's causing that streaky blend issue. But aside from that, this paper is excellent and I really love it. Overall, I would say I rate this paper at about a seven and a half out of 10 because that streaking problem is really annoying, but I am definitely gonna keep using it. I really wanna master it and eliminate whatever is causing that streak issue because it's so inconsistent. I know it can't be just a, a general paper flaw. There's gotta be something that's causing it. So I'm gonna keep using it. If you've been looking to try Express It Blending Card, I highly recommend you do. It's a great paper for alcohol markers. And I hope you enjoyed my little review of it today. Thanks for watching everyone. Until next time, be well.